We, I wonder if we can put that on a trophy stand. Just perma shit. Splurt! Oh my god! No! <laughs> It's almost as good as when uh, Panda Bear got pooped down by our uh, Yoma. Hey guys, welcome back to Titan Shield Gaming. I got another episode of the PvP base design. This is the 15th episode, and this episode was all created from the idea of a subscriber. And I asked you guys in a previous episode to uh, post some comments uh, down in the comments section and let me know what you wanted to see and I'm bringing that for you guys. So today we're gonna be doing a PVP war dock. So I called it the war dock. So as always, I'm showing you guys a build of the extreme. So if you're on a low rate server, please cut this design down immensely. Uh, don't put as many turrets, don't put as much metal and areas and all that stuff just remember guys if you're on a high rate server you can do, do even more you can even put a base there if you wanted to but overall i just wanted you guys to check this out it is a cool idea and i gotta thank the one person that suggested this i believe there's other ones that hinted on it but this one person suggested this and i thought the idea was a great idea and that person is willie beeman eight i'm gonna put his name right up on the screen right now there you go. <laughs> so thank you very much, Willie Beeman 8, for suggesting this. It was a great idea. Didn't even think about this, to be honest with you. I was like, shit. You know what? That's an amazing idea. So I went ahead and did it, and I went overboard because well, why not? It's a war dock. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, hit the like button if you like it. Uh, leave me a message down below. What do you think about it? What can I do to improve it? What parts did you like that I did about it? Um, basically, oh, wait. The electricals, I know they're terrible, but you know what? I had such a hard time getting my electricals to work on the ground floor, so I stuck it on the second floor. And yes, I know it's only one generator. So already a suggestion by myself, for myself, is find a structure, make a structure, and put more generators and lines in. So before you guys say that, I gotcha <laughs> right before you did. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you right after the video start this build out you have to cordon off the area that you want to do so what i did is i went ahead and i laid down all my metal behemoth gates uh further out than what i need so that i can have almost a buffer zone between the outside and the inside i just want to put it there just to have that place where i can park my boats or any kind of uh boats with turrets and stuff like that so in a way it's almost essentially a floating turret base so I'm going to park them in that little gap, but I want an inner courtyard area so that I can leave my dinosaurs in there without having to worry about too much. So I'm going to lay this all down and I'm going to come back to you because laying it all down, there is no trick to it. It's just patience, patience, patience. So once you've laid these down, I want you to basically put in the doors and this is going to be a really good zone to put in your boats that have turrets on it. And I specifically put the, the gates just slightly below the water so that my boats can be level with their turrets and their mobile turrets, basically. They'll see anyone coming up, anyone creeping just below at the bottom of the things. And I have easy access in and out with my uh, turrets. So it's a really cool little feature. And the next step is to lay down some foundations just behind your outer wall so that no one can build near your base and put down turrets to kill anything that's inside your area so i always try to do this on everything that i build just have a few pill uh, foundations just on the very verge of your territory so that people can't build within the 50 yards now that you've gotten through all the tedious work and you got your two layers of gates now you can move on to the good stuff that stuff's going to be making the actual dock, so here we go guys. Lining it up with my stone behemoth gates, I made a straight solid line along the edge of the beach just under the water. This is where I'm going to put all my pillars so it can support my structure above. I ended up putting three pillars down the width of it and all the way down the length of this. So you're going to have a stack of pillars like crazy. This is all hopefully going to be snapped into the ground to protect your foundations as well 
as if they do get knocked out, they'll protect one another by holding out the structure. I'm now slapping in the ceilings on top of these pillars right here. I want to make sure that gap is not there. So I'm going to snap it down to the top of these. So I have no situations in any kind of structural failure if one of these get knocked out. And once that's done, I'm going to show you exactly what you want to do. I extended the foundation, the ceilings towards my door so that we can easily walk onto it with dinosaurs as well as ourselves. And I extended it out so that it covers just over the ledge. And I'll show you exactly why I did that. This structure is one of four structures I'm going to have. I'm going to have two on this side, two on the other side. And basically it's here just to store your important dinosaurs, your megalodons, your plesiosaurs, mosasaurs, all that good stuff. And you have a nice little room so that you can store them in there, have a door locked, and he's protected. So if they really want to kill him, they got to get into this room and they really got to kill him. This design is really easy. You go two walls all the way around and then your ceilings. Once you have that little box in, you can start snapping in your dino metal gates. And that's when you gotta be very careful. These are very hard to place from this height. I had to go into the water, get them down. And when you're in the water, you're moving all over the place. So it's kind of, kind of was a mess. So I would suggest make sure you put that extra couple of minutes in to making it perfect. Before I place the second behemoth gates, I want to slap in the walls so that I have a nice alignment. I can make sure I get this in properly so that everything looks nice and it functions just right. There we go. We got all four done. Now this is a dock. Now I'm going to be making a war dock. So this can be a lot more to this now. Now this basically is a really nice area to go plesiosaurs, uh, megalodons, uh, itchosaurus, just store them in here. These are your special ones, these are the war ones, the ones that are the, or even the farming ones. So basically you go, you have your structure here, you can climb up out of the water because it's like right on the water line. It's a nice functional little area. Now we're going to move on to the next thing, which I'm really excited about. This part of the dock is going to what? is going to be what makes it the war dock. This is going to have a turret tower right up there, command station, a place where you can shoot from with a Gatling gun. It's going to be crazy. So basically we're going to lay this all out. We're going to get this working and it's going to look beautiful. So now you want to put all your pillars down that will support the structure above as well as the walkways that are connected that don't have a pillar on them. Now this is a really cool area. You're going to want to cover these up at the end. I'll show you guys at the end. We're going to throw some walls on the outside just to make sure these are extra protected. But these pillars are super tricky. I've mis misplaced so many. So just keep at it. Be patient. Take a break if you got to. Uh, it drove me crazy. The constant moving in the water just makes you have to spam just to get it to connect. So it's a pain in the butt, but you know what? You'll get it done. I know you guys will. And we're going to move on to once this is all, all those pillars are down, we're going to move on to the actual structure above. I'm snapping ceilings in here so that you'll have an area to run around the tower. So you don't just have to go into the tower. You can have a plenty of view down below what's going on in the action above you as well as below you. And now we're going to start working on the tower. And this tower is just going to be a simple tower that goes up and we're going to house the electricals in this and we're going to get to the actual ceiling platform which is going to make this build really beautiful. Once I've enclosed this tower I start moving up to the second floor and completing that and then we're going to do the exact same thing we did here. We're going to have ceilings running all around the tower but it's going to be on the second tier and that's where we're going to have our electrical generator. Once you've got your generator in, now you want to enclose this dock area just like you did with the other dino docks, but this time you're going to have your doorway for your area to walk around your tower, as well as inside your tower, you're going to have your ladders that go up towards your second tier, which is going to hold your electricals. And the electricals are what we're going to be laying down right now. They are going to be all on the tops of the dino pens, as well as this larger structure. To protect those wires, we're going to put a double ceiling. So what we're going to do in this larger dyno area, I mean, the, sorry, this large area that we created just now uh, for your crafting and storage, you want to snap pillars that were in the water that led up to the structure through the structure just to the top. So snap the pillar to the top and then snap it to the bottom. 
so that you don't have any kind of uh, larger spaces than you need for the ceiling. The ceiling, of course, is where we're going to go and snap in the double ceiling. That's going to sandwich the electricals right in between. So you'll have a level of protection as well there. So we finally made it this far. Now we are going to take a look, make sure everything is properly done. And we're going to start working on the defensive capabilities of this dock. So you've got all your electricals put into place. You've got your pillars here and the structure supporting the above ceilings. And now you are going to start working on defensive capabilities. And that's going to include turrets and mini guns. It's going to be great. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put up some rails so that you guys do not fall off, hit your head, and your trimates find you floating in the river. When there's water and slick surfaces, you have to be safe. So we're going to throw these rails up, make it look really cool. We're going to put them everywhere that we can, but we're not going to be putting them in front of the dino pen part because we're going to be putting up a weapon there, a mini turret. It's going to look badass. Now what's better than having a beautiful dock that you can kill your enemies with without having big old turret shooting seat machines? I mean your enemy is going to see this and they're going to take off running in the other direction. We're going to put five of these beauties onto our structure because why not? This is a war dock. It needs to look badass. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Yeah this thing's over the top dude. I love it. <laughs> it's like, go big, go home, America. Now that we've gotten this pretty much done, we're going to go ahead and put all of our turret things up. I am spacing these out randomly. Well, not randomly, evenly throughout the structure in the same places. So it's all evenly covered. But I would highly suggest this. If you don't have that many turrets, don't put this much. Put them only on the back by the dino gates, maybe one in here and then on the front. Because I know you guys are on live servers, this is my private server. I do play on live and if I were to do it on live, I would take the time to get these turrets. But I usually run with a large crowd, so I know a lot of you don't. Just be completely true to yourself and realize just what you're going to need. If you can't make these mini turrets, don't make these mini turrets. Just make a few. So once you've gotten all the turrets that you want to put on your base done, we're going to go ahead down below and we're going to start slapping in all the metal walls to protect all the pillars for your structure. So you've put all of your metal walls all over your structure down below and there's no big holes for the, any enemy to get into because your turrets are going to take care of them before they even get there. So now what you guys want to do is you want to finish this off by protecting your important dinos in their pens. We're going to slap a catwalk up in the back corner as well as a turret and that should stop anyone from taking sanctuary within this little area. Well guys, there you have it. It is a war dock. It is massive. It is so over the top. I love it. I love it. I love it. I hope you guys love it too. I've never built a dock, let alone a PvP war dock. So I wanted to go all out for you guys and I hope you enjoyed it. And remember guys, again, I emphasize this a lot. I'm going to do it again. If you are on a low rate server, please do not attempt this. This is going to kill you. If you are on a high rate server you should attempt this and yes you should improve upon it <laughs> but uh if you're like me and you play mid-rate servers it is possible everything i do in these videos i do on live servers except for this dock i have not done a dock on live servers and i look forward to doing it so i'm going to give you a nice little view and a tour around the base and i'm going to end it off with a few really nice night shots i threw up some lighting up at the end because i thought you know what if someone's going to be traveling by on a raft, I want them, this to be bling. I want this to be the thing that they see and they're like, holy crap, I got to get out of here. Don't want to mess with those guys. So it's a really nice little thing, concept. And I got to give you, 
credit, man. You you had such a great idea, and I know it's overlooked for a lot of people, and um, it's very underwhelming when I come across it in certain bases. But this one, I want to see. I want to see one of you guys out there build this thing on your server. So one day I'm out just goofing around, maybe griefing a few people here and there, maybe going on a way over to uh, a base to raid. I want to look down and do a double take and see this because I know you guys can do it. I know you guys can improve upon this. So this is an amazing concept. Thank you, Willie Beeman 8. It was well done. It took me forever, but I do it for you guys. So if you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, I got plenty of these build videos for you. Just hit the subscribe button and go check them out. But if you guys do anything, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this. I know it's over the top. I know electricals are kind of wonky. But you know what? It is a great concept and I love it. So I'll see you guys later. I will be doing a few more episodes here and there. Don't worry. It's not my last episode like I said before. I fibbed. Um, I got a few more ideas with some of the comments that you guys gave me. So I'll see you guys later. And thank you for coming back to Titan Shield Gaming. Um, I'm not Why are you guys leaving your doors open? What's Look at this! This guy just walks in with a shotgun. Damn, Damn, I'm, I'm scared. He's in here with me. Help me. <laughs> I don't want to get don't shot. Worry, I'm, I'm friendly. I'm friendly. I'm friendly. I'm just on this guy. You guys. <laughs> hey, don't hit me.